What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be showing how to replace a valve cover gasket or valve cover seal on a Subaru Boxer engine. We're going to be doing it on this 2006 STI I have back here. Uh, the driver's side is leaking pretty bad and I don't like leaks. So today we're going to go through, replace all the gaskets. We're doing the half moon seals and the spark plug tube seals all at the same time. Now the very first thing we are going to want to do guys get the carp on some some ramps like I have here and then get the car jacked up in the air. Now that we have it up in the air, I'm gonna throw some jack stands on the car. Better to be safe than sorry, you don't want the car falling on you. The best place to jack up a Subaru is right on that cross member right there that you see the jack on. And I'm just throwing the jack stands on the frame rails, as you can see there. Now that we have the car up in the air, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is pop open the hood, and we're gonna need to remove some components in there to get to the valve cover. So doing the driver's side, the only thing we're gonna need to remove is the battery, and then I would recommend disconnecting those wiring connectors down there. There's a black plug-in and a brown plug-in. I would recommend removing those as well. Makes it a lot easier to get to what we need to get. As you can see, we have freed up quite a bit more space, so it'll be much easier to get the valve cover off and Next step is certainly optional. We're gonna actually be removing this motor mount nut and jacking the motor up on the one side that we're working on. It just makes it have about three times the space in there so we can work we can work in there much much easier. So there's gotta be a 14 millimeter socket with either like an impact or a half inch drive ratchet and pop off that 14 millimeter nut. We got that nut off we can grab a jack and a piece of wood and we're just gonna jack up right on the oil pan until the motor is lifted up on the one side. As you can see, the motor is kind of tilted up on out of here, and I'll show you how much more space we have acquired down here now. Much more. So the next step, we're gonna pop off the wiring connectors for the coils. There's a white one for the front, and black one for the rear. And now we're gonna take off the coils with a 12 millimeter socket. Now the next step is to remove these breather hoses right here. The one, the front side just has this little clamp on it. Just gonna compress the clamp. Get that up and out of the way, like so. The rear has a different kind of clamp on it, so I usually just like to let me get to focus. Grab a flathead and pop that clamp off, like so, and then just pull up on that hose as well, and it should pop up on out of there, just like that. Make sure you don't lose. Make sure you don't lose that clamp. We're gonna be needing that when it goes back together. The next step is to remove all of the bolts for the valve cover. There are nine bolts. They all look like that. So it's a 10 millimeter head. There's three on the top, three on the bottom, and one on the very front side, right there. And one on the back side, right there. So we're gonna go pop all of these bolts out and then I will show you what to do from there. Now that I have all of the bolts out, we can pop the valve cover off the car. I would highly recommend putting cardboard underneath the valve cover as there is a pool of oil that sits right under the valve cover. That's why they leak, just a terrible design. But there's, a, there's gonna be a pool of oil on the bottom rear of the valve cover that's gonna come out. So we can go ahead, just tug on the oil filler a little bit. If it if it's not wanting to pop off, just insert a flat blade like that and get that to pop. Make sure you are not scarring the gasket surface at all though. As you can see, it's leaking oil down there. 
No big deal guys, that's what the cardboard's for. Valve cover is off. Now that the valve cover is off, we need to go around the whole gasket surface and remove all of the old gasket sealant. This is probably the most time consuming process, but it's very important and critical so that the new seal does not leak at all. So just go around. I like to use brake cleaner. It'll soften up this sealant a little bit and peel it off. Use a razor blade, wire brush, whatever you need to use to get that sealant off. But at the same time, guys, make sure you do not get any inside the motor because you do not want sealant floating around your motor and clogging all your oil galleys and stuff like that. Little pro tip guys, if you want to cut your time in half cleaning all of the gasket surfaces, fill up a drain pan with gas and submerge the gasket surface in the gas and it will just, all that seal, old sealant will just fall right off and then you just blow it off the air compressor and it is perfectly clean. Now that we have the whole gasket surface cleaned up, we can move on to the valve cover. If you guys have it set in the gas like I do, it should be pretty easy. Just pull it out. And as you can see, this stuff just falls right off. Pretty simple. The next step is to get these half moons and they go on the back of the cylinder head. So I'll show you on the motor where they go. Can you guys see that divot right back there? The machined out area, it's like the half oval. You don't always have to replace these. They're called the half moon seals, but since I'm already this deep in the motor and this is leaked before, I figured I'm gonna replace them because one of them might be cracked. Just do a thin little bead. Like so. And now we can place that on the cylinder head. The valve cover sealing surface is nice and clean. We are now ready to apply a very, very thin layer of sealant to the whole edge. And also the spark plug tube seals, where those go. We're gonna be doing a very light layer of uh, film of sealant on, on all of the gasket surface. Now we can do the same thing on this side of the gasket. Just get a very thin layer on there. Now we can open up our the spark plug tube seals. Same concept on here. We're gonna check the gasket surface on the motor one more time, make sure there's no oil or any film, residue, anything on that surface. If there is, the seal will probably leak again. As soon as we get that checked out, we can take the valve cover and set it on the motor, get some of those bolt, bolts threaded in.
we're gonna want to tighten the bolts uh, in a crisscross pattern. So you're gonna do like the top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left, and then the ends, and then the middles. Put the even pressure on the seal all around and on the cover. Don't want to deform or warp the cover at all. And as you can see, there's a shoulder on the bolt. So as soon as it's tight, that shoulder is going to hit the head and you won't be able to tighten it anymore. So the, there's not really a torque spec on these guys. You just tighten them until that shoulder hits the head and then you are done. Well, the motor's still jacked up. We can put these coil packs back on. It's a lot easier to do when the motor is jacked up on the one side. So just get it on the spark plug. Push it in and you can thread it in the bolt. Do that for the both cylinder two and cylinder four. We can also now get these hoses back on. So make sure you slide this clamp on the rear hose. And to get this clamp back tight, we're just gonna grab pliers and crimp that together. We got both hoses on. We can now move on to this oil filler tube. So just slide it under the AC line like so, and onto the head, or onto the valve cover. And there are three bolts that hold it on. There's the one with the metal bracket there, and then one on each side of the fill tube itself. Last thing is we need to connect all the wiring. So we have the alternator wires here, the main wires here, and we gotta throw those two coil pack wires on also. As soon as all that is done, we can lower the motor down and get that bottom motor mount back on. Now the last thing to do guys is to check your oil levels because some of the oil obviously leaks out when you pull the valve cover off. So make sure your oil levels are good before you start your motor. It'll also be the same exact process for the passenger side. The only difference is obviously you gotta remove the intake instead of battery. And I don't think there's any wiring on that side except for the coil uh, pack wiring that you have to deal with. So it's actually easier to do the passenger side. I really hope this video is helpful. Hope you guys followed along and got your valve cover sealed up yourself instead of paying the dealer a bunch of money to do it. I'll have uh, part numbers down in the description box below for all of the valve cover seals for the STI I have here. Just in case, I believe it, 02 to 07 WRX and 04 to 07 STI will all be the same for the valve cover seals. So I'll have all of those part numbers linked in the description box below. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for a lot more content coming soon. Stay tuned for all of those videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.